Ukraine Scotland game. Here with us now is our global correspondent Sam Borden. Sam, what is the atmosphere before this crucial World Cup qualifier? Well, well, Ryan, you said it. Look, it's it's a big game from a sporting perspective. We're getting close to determining one of the last spots in the World Cup. But obviously, there is a bigger feeling here. About 3,000 Ukrainians are expected at the stadium tonight, a mix of expatriates and refugees. Yesterday, we met with one of the refugees who's going to be in the stadium tonight. Her name's Yulia. She arrived in Scotland just three days ago, but left her home at Dnipro in central Ukraine back in March, Ryan. It took her months to be able to make it out, and she left family behind who are still fighting in the war. She told me that she is so looking forward to being in the stadium tonight. She wants to sing the national anthem, and she wants to show the world that Ukraine is alive, that whatever is happening, they are fighting for their freedom, and they're fighting to show that they are still a part of this world. Such an important perspective there. Sam, thank you so much. Sam Borden with the latest on the key Ukraine-Scotland matchup.